Uh, this is Alpha Delta Zero, Romeo Romeo. I'm going to do a short video here on kind of on a different way of connecting uh, PL259 connectors uh, to some coax. Of course, everybody knows this is what a PL259 looks like. And um, the issue really isn't the center conductor. It is you know various issue or various ways of of getting the braid soldered to the connector. And I've I've seen a few on YouTube, but I ran across this idea, and I, and it seems to work pretty well for me. So the only thing harder than uh, soldering the braid on or a connector on is soldering a connector that also has a reducer on it. So this is a reducer for RG8X, and uh, you know so the whole problem really is thermal mass and thermal inertia. So when you've got this much metal, the connector shell, uh, the shell around the cable, and the reducer. It gets really hard to get enough heat in there to solder the or flow the solder nicely around there without melting the dielectric, which of course is in the in between the braid and the center conductor. So, so anyway, the uh, way I'm going to do this is with a let me get this shot here. Let me get stuff out of the shot, and uh, it, it's a inductive heater I found on Banggood, and. Uh, Essentially, you have a high-frequency oscillator. You've got a couple of MOSFETs on the side here. You can kind of see them under the coils there. And, uh, and, and then you have a coil, and this op oscillates at a high frequency and induces uh, heat through RF. Same principle as those glass top stoves that you see that you have to use the special pans for. So, uh, so what makes this really good is the fact that uh, it's a circular coil, so it makes it really easy to put the connector down the center of it, which means that heat is induced evenly all the way around the connector and when it reaches soldering melting temperature you can uh, the solder will flow all the way around otherwise because there, there are holes in the connector and people will tend to kind of like heat this side up and solder and then move it and heat this side up and solder and move it and heat this side up and solder and so this gets it all done at once and gets the heat off as quickly as possible so I'm gonna get this assembled here so I'm not going to worry so much about the uh, the center conductor on here because uh, that's really not not the issue not the hard part to, to solder so uh, step one the important an important step is to put a drop of RA flux get some RA flux down in the center there so that it, it so that the solder will flow nicely and then I'm going to turn it on if you can see you've got a blue light here and I move the camera up a little bit see if I can work around the camera here and so it is oscillating so we're going to put this in here and and let it start heating now another good thing about the uh, flux is when the flux starts to activate you'll see some smoke and that will tell us that we're getting pretty close to being done so uh, this will take a second like i said this is the least expensive least powerful one that banggood uh, offers and so it takes a little bit longer to heat up which really i guess might not be a bad thing Maybe a shorter dwell, dwell time would be nice, but so one issue with this, you notice I had this hooked into a 12 volt gel cell, it's 12 volt input into the circuit board, and I used a gel cell. The biggest uh, problem I see on the on the, the forum parts is that uh, when people play with these, is they put it onto a variable power supply and then crank the, the supply voltage up to 12, and as the voltage is ramping up. It's, uh, it's hard on the oscillator because I, I guess the oscillator is going in and out of oscillation so its current draw changes anyway it ends up burning up the MOSFETs and uh, which are you know inexpensive and easy to replace and, and you can make it and, oh you see a little bit of heat there or a little bit of smoke coming off so that is the flux activating so anyway so I use a 12 volt gel cell to uh, so that I get a nice hard on voltage when I flip the switch so now I'm just testing it here okay now as you can see I got solder flow there so if I have solder flow there I should have solder flow here and I do I should have solder flow here I do give it a little more heat Probably could have left it in there just a bit longer. I'm a little bit conservative as far as heating it goes, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay. So, yeah, 
you can see I got nice solder flow all the way around and that connectors on I don't know I don't know if this got warm enough to uh, to melt the solder or not no it didn't and like I said that you know, that's easily done with an iron so uh, so anyway that really looks pretty nice and the connectors in good shape it's not too hot it's a little warm so tips I guess uh, one is uh, this this came with here, let me turn it off so I don't it really doesn't actually use the battery up that quickly but this came with the terminal strips right here and and but the coil this is the normal spacing of the coil and getting the, the you know good current flow good connectivity right here is really important so uh, so I just soldered the coil on here I'm gonna get this thing into a nice box with, with its gel cell and everything here eventually but I just wanted to get this out um, like I said the uh, using a uh, gel cell um, is important too because you really want that hard on uh, you don't you don't don't use a variable if you use a variable power supply make sure that the current is set appropriately and that you have it set to 12 volts before you actually turn it on so uh, let's see I guess then remember the RA flux very important here um, and uh, now I'll do a sophisticated screenshot so I don't have to edit this because that will take me forever then to get it out but I'll show you the Banggood listing here. And uh, there, it, there it is. Oh, it went up in price. I bought it at $6.99. Uh, maybe, it was, maybe it was a sale. So now it's 10 bucks. Still a pretty good deal for uh, coming up with a, a soldering uh, outfit that will do PL259s uh, and do a good job at it. So anyway, this is Alpha Delta Zero, Romeo Romeo 73s.